starting now. Honey, everything's coming up Rosa. Hey, Broadway world. This is Leanne Larkin from Patti LaPone Gypsy, and uh, we are here in the recording studio recording our cast album. It's so exciting. This is a whole new experience, and it's the coolest thing ever. We're upstairs um, with the orchestra and, and Stephen Sondheim's in, in the room, and Arthur, and, and the whole team, and it's been the best experience of my life, and uh, we can't wait to release it to you guys. We can't wait to have you listen to it, and uh, we're so excited. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see uh, how it turns out, but um, so far it sounds great. You'll be swell. You'll be great. Everything has come as a beautiful surprise to all of us, and from us getting a call after City Center is over to coming to Broadway to getting this cast of recording done is always, it's just been a blessing to all of us because we've all loved working with everybody. So, you know, it's a great experience when you get to work with people you love. This is a great day for all of us and working with Steve Sondheim and Arthur Lawrence, Jonathan Tunick, all these people in the same room, it, uh, things like this don't happen all the time and they may not ever again for me. So I, I'm really keeping, keeping this day as as a special day for me for the rest of my life. It's exciting. Yeah, it's exciting. What do you say? It's very exciting. We've been looking forward to it for a long time and we're, we're glad that it's happening. Planets are, I think, all of our first time recording an album now. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's definitely. And you couldn't ask for a better, a better time. Stephen Sondheim is behind the control panel giving you notes. You know what I mean? It's just, it couldn't, it couldn't right. be cooler. It couldn't be. The recording has definitely been a huge learning experience because uh, I know for myself, and I'm sure everybody else, uh, we're so used to doing it every night on stage live, and you're thinking about, um, you know, your character in the moment, and you're not really thinking like vocals, you're thinking more of how this fits into the whole scene and, and your, your emotional state at that given time. And uh, this is completely different. It becomes something a little less theatrical and, and more of an intimate uh, environment, and it's more focused than even before, which makes the acting and the intentions even more important. We do try to bring it to you as close to performance as possible, but you're kind of like in, you know, here's like the mic and you're, you know, this close to it and you have to like keep your face, you know, right into the microphone. So instead of being, you know, um, active and, 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 and moving about and, and making little, um, little jokes and such, it's very technical. We did the vocal recording first uh, and finished that and then they played that back through the speakers for us. And we all danced on a little, <laughs> little cardboard. It's about the size of this carpet. <laughs> Born like that with our canes, like. We've never looked better. Right. <laughs> when you bring it to a recording, you just make it even more intimate, and you make it special for somebody that is listening right next to uh, the speaker. It's a challenge. It's a challenge to keep everything similar, but um, you know we have the whole team in there that's guiding us, and so it's been it's been a huge, huge learning experience. But it's just like another aspect to being a part of the show, which is just such a how lucky am I? <laughs> That's how I keep saying, so. Wait till you've refined it. If you want a puppet, I had done Gypsy when I was a kid with the, the Tiny Daily uh, and, um, uh, cast, and, I, and uh, I'd always been listening to that album. I actually didn't get to do that album. I was like a couple weeks late from actually recording that album, but I'd always been raised into that album and listening to that Tulsa and listening to that overture and you know and all these things. And so now getting to do my own version is is like creating your own new thing and, and hopefully people latch onto it and see something specific in it. My favorite moment in in the show, um, I mean I guess there are so many, but my the one moment that really um, lands with me every night is uh, if Mama was married with Lara, and the moment that we get to look at each other and connect. It's weird because in the studio we're singing on opposite ends and we're not able to see each other and and um, and and look at each other in the way that we do every night. But it's just um, I love sharing that moment with her. I love singing the song with her. It's it's the most special time of the evening for me. Oh, 
we really are being part of history. We're part of musical theater history, and when we're, you know, in our 70s and our 80s, we're all going to be able to look back on this and realize that we are part of something that is really phenomenal and is going to go on long past even when we're around. It's just awesome. I think everyone's going to be really pleased when it all comes out.